I'm traveling around the world to meet some of the people who have been testing the 572 XP in their environment. Beautiful day in South Africa in a fantastic pine plantation. I'm Andy Campbell, and this is South Africa. It's an early morning start for everyone, and this is to maximize the work during the cool hours. This is MZZ and Aubrey. They work as loggers in the plantation. I'm looking forward to seeing how the 572 copes in the heat with the constant starting and stopping and starting and stopping, which is bad for temperature buildup in the carburetor and also how the uh, auto-tune deals with the different fuel and altitude up here. Yeah, I think that Ikavale I want to really know what's been going on inside this chainsaw. So I'm going to meet up with Roger, who's going to plug it in and have a look. How you going? Going very well, right. man. Air filter off. Can you hear the clicking sound coming from there? I can, yeah. That is checking that the pump in the carburetor is the automatic pump is working. All right. Just in the last time that you've worked with this machine, you ran the saw for one minute and 14 seconds above 12,000 RPM. One of our biggest problems that we have with chainsaws is excessive heat and vibration. This whole concept is to allow us to manage what's going on here through you. And if you look after it in your way, you rev it, you will get more production out of the saw in a longer period. The guys have been working really hard, about 60 trees a day. I've been working alongside them. And I'll tell you, it's hard, hot work. The key thing here for the guys is durability in a chainsaw and the improved cooling capacity from the fan, the uh, heat barrier between the cylinder and the carburetor and the auto-tune soft cutout are all going to help that saw last a little bit longer in this heat. I've had enough. I need the shade and a drink. For more tests in extreme environments, check out the other episodes from the World Tour. <laughs>